everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Tonight we're going to be going through my May budget for the month. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, please feel free to hang out. Let me know down below um, what you have coming up in your budgets. Um, and also let me know if you've done your budget or not. So the first thing I want to do is share with you my calendar. So this is my budget calendar. It's in my Golden Coil planner. I have a second um, sheet here with a second calendar. This one's just for my budget. So um, I did decorate it a little bit, but big items to know. Um, we are going to New Orleans for a weekend. So I have that marked there. That'll be coming out of both my spending and my vacation budget. Um, and then, of course, also Memorial Day weekend is coming up at the end of the month, um, which we don't really have plans for yet, but usually there is some sort of extra like barbecue or something that goes along with that weekend for me and my family anyway. Um, but yeah, pretty standard month, nothing too crazy as far as it comes to bills. So I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and flip right into my budget sheet here. Okay, so if you've not seen one of my budgets before, um, I do do this on a spreadsheet before I write it out with you guys, but I really feel like writing it out helps it feel real, helps it feel tangible, um, and it's a little bit easier for me to share it with you guys here on YouTube. Um, so we're going to be going through my budgeted column here, putting in all the numbers, and then if you don't know, I do a second video after the month has closed out where I go through the actual and the percentage. Um, so that is why I have these columns where we're just going to be focusing here today. So let me pull up my spreadsheet on my phone so I can kind of follow along and make sure my numbers are right. Um, the first thing I want to say is my budgeted income, I'm going to go off of my salary. However, I usually do get more than this throughout the month through various means. And there's two things that I know are going to happen. So the first one is I actually quit my job. I have a video kind of talking about that, but I am switching jobs, which does start in May. I know I'll have a full paycheck, but I am curious to see how my vacation pays out, things like that. You know, all of your benefits kind of are different when you leave your job. So I do anticipate this number being higher, um, but we're just going to go on the side of caution and budget off of this lower amount um, there. The other thing is my AdSense from YouTube videos has um, surpassed or will surpass that um, $100 threshold. So I know I will be getting a YouTube check in the month of May at some point as well. So do know that my income will be higher for those two specific reasons. I don't know exactly what that's all going to shake out to be. So um, like I said, I'm just going to budget off of what I know I can count on and anything else is bonus after that. So I'm going to highlight that in green. Green to me means that it is money that I have left to allocate. I am a zero based budgeter. So that means that this whole amount here down to the penny needs to be put into some sort of category. So let's start with the expenses. Um, these ones are pretty standard. There's not a, like a lot changing here. So the first one is my mortgage, $1,000 or $1,011.86. That's standard um, for me. My HOA, $239.52. Um, that is standard. My HOA just usually increases um, once a year. So that's pretty much the amount for the whole year. Insurance. Let me look at this. I do think that that number went up. Okay, so insurance here is $178.60. This includes my car insurance, my homeowner's insurance, and a umbrella policy. Sorry, this looks a little funky there. Okay, um, phone is the same as it has been. That is $84.51. Subscriptions, this is for um, Netflix, Amazon Prime, and then we also have um, Spotify and the Met Opera On Demand. And that comes out to $54.74. Groceries, gas, and spending. Um, I am paid one time a month, um, so I do use a monthly budget. So in order to make my grocery money last, I give myself an allowance every Friday, um, and I'm doing $100 a week. So there are four Fridays in the month of May, so that means I'm going to be giving myself $400. Gas, I used to do that way, but with um, my job switching, I'm in just life what's coming up. 
Um, I want to increase this to just $50 a month instead of a weekly amount. Um, and I guess I got to just kind of see how that goes. I do anticipate going down um, to the city, which will be a little bit of a drive. So I'm just going to put I'm just going to put 50 and we'll see how it shakes out. Spending, I also do about um, $100 a week, but I'm going to bump it up to 450 just because of how the paycheck lands. I want to have a little bit extra on um, that first weekend there. So I'm going to bump that up this month. So this totals to $2,469.23. And I have a remaining of eleven hundred dollars and ninety five cents so let me highlight those I associate my expenses in this purple color so we'll do that and then remember green is going to indicate money that I still need to give a job okay next is funds so I combine like sinking funds and cash envelopes um, together here the reason is because I'm pretty much a cashless spender. Um, I just do all cards, so that's why I just have it all together. So the first one is utilities. Um, I'm going to put $116.04 this month. I have a fund. I keep it around $300, and each month I let my utilities just draw out from that account, and then I look at how much came out and what do I need to replenish it. So last month, $116.04 came out. So I'm replenishing that a month so that I start the month with a full $300 and I don't have to worry about what my bills are going to be because I don't actually get all my bills before I film this. So it's a little bit hard to estimate when you don't know. Um, so having that money preset there has been a huge saver and I'm not worrying about can I make a bill or not. Annual $120. This is a fund that helps me pay for like things that come up one time a year. Like I just paid my Capital One uh, $39 credit card fee came out of here so that's what um, that one's for I have a cat his name is Miko and he gets $40 a month um, he just went to the vet this past month so we're kind of starting over um, this does include his food and his litter and then whatever I don't spend over the month just rolls over and like I said we'll end up paying for his vet visit okay incidental is $50 this is my unbudgeted or cushion fund um, I think it's important to have something like that. You never know what's going to come up throughout the month, so I like to have that there, and it just rolls over. If I don't use it, it builds on itself. Vacation, I'm going to give myself $200 this month. Um, I do have a little bit of a vacation fund already, and then I am going to New Orleans, so I'd like to have just a little bit more in there because I know I have that trip planned, plus Memorial Day weekend. I might take a little bit out of that um, if we end up doing something special. Next is beauty, and I do $50 a month. Um, I am tracking that um, spending and what I'm buying with those um, dollars and all that. I have a whole series I can link for you it's called my low buy year. Um, but yeah, I'm doing $50 a month for beauty. Gifts, I'm going to do $75. I kind of have a scale at the beginning of the year. I do $50 a month, and then I up it to $75, and then in a few months I'll up, it, up to $100. Um, it's just kind of how my year spreads out. Um, most of my birthdays for the people that I celebrate with and will get gifts for are the second half of the year. So that just is how it works out. Home, I usually do $30. I'm going to do $100. I did um, have some different expenses come up that I want to make sure I can replenish my fund for. Um, with starting this new job, I'm going to be working full-time at home. Um, before, I was at home due to COVID, but... Um, we were starting to go back into the office, but this new job, I'm at home at home. So I did buy a new desk and some, um, you know, more ink and paper and stuff for my printer. So I want to make sure that this is covered. And then lastly, we've got my emergency fund. I am paying off some credit card debt, so I just put in $50 a month to my emergency fund. I am past one month's worth of expenses. That was my goal. Um, but I still like to contribute just to let it build over time. And then if I need to take anything out... Um, it's not like I'm, you know, going all the way back down to zero. I might still have a couple hundred dollars in there then. So all of these funds together are 80104, which gives me a remaining of $299.91. So let's get these highlighted. I put my funds in this light blue shade. 
and then green for money that still needs to be allocated. Okay, next is investing. Um, and I have three items listed, but I'm only investing in two of these currently. So the first one is Betterment. This is a taxable um, investment account that I just am putting $10 a month into, letting it grow, um, you know, just for something big in the future. I don't have a specific goal, but, you know, it could be, you know, just something that I need in the future. I want to grow through the market instead of just saving. Ground floor, I'm not currently contributing to, but I do have it here to report any earnings um, when I do my actual column. And then my Roth IRA, I'm putting in $25 a month into right now. I hope to increase that after, you know, my debt is paid off and I can bump that emergency fund up a little bit more, but it's better than nothing. Um, it definitely has grown and it's something that I believe, you know, just a little bit, even this $10 really can grow in time. So this equals $35 which means that I have a remaining of $264.91. So my investing I do in yellow. And we'll get the green with the money that I have remaining. Okay. And lastly, we have debt. Um, so I actually am only paying on one card. These are all of the cards um, I have, I need to close out maybe one or two of these. Um, Capital One, I don't owe anything on. This is the card that I use most often um, for my day-to-day -day expenses, but I have that money ready to pay it off. Um, I don't, I haven't like gone past my budget. Discover is also zero and Amex is zero. So this full $264.91 is gonna come to this city card here. Um, that is a 0% interest card that I did a balance transfer on about a year ago. Um, so that is what I have remaining here. And that means I've got zero left, which means that I did my zero base budget right. I have got nothing left to um, allocate. So like I said, I know I'm going to have more money come through between my YouTube check and um, just my benefits payout and etc. So I do anticipate this um, debt number being higher than this, but worst case scenario, something goes wrong, um, I know that I can still make a good payment towards my debt. So that is going to be it for me and my budget today. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know, like I said, what you have coming up in your May budget and if you've done your May budget yet, because if you haven't, this is a reminder to do so. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for taking some time out of your day to hang out and watch this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.